the back of the car is a little bit of a mess, but here it is. As you can see, uh, there's stuff literally everywhere. I will need to invest in a table, but for now we're just gonna put this on the ground. <laughs> okay. So I don't know if you can see this, but it was so cold this morning, the water froze. So there's like a big thing of ice in the water, <laughs> which is kind of crazy. <laughs> can you hear the ice? <laughs> Okay, hopefully that stays, <laughs> we'll see. We got Stumptown coffee. Okay, I'm gonna have to go to another spot over here to film this part of the video because we're in this massive landscape out here, so many spots, and these people decide to pull up right next to me and fly their drone or whatever. So I'm gonna have to go to a different spot to film the first part of this video, the first thing I wanna talk about. So basically the point of this video was I wanted to do a little update to let you guys know what I've been up to since I left my New York City apartment at the end of September, which I actually made a video about on my channel if you want to check it out and you haven't seen it already. I basically talked about how I left my New York City apartment and just took off in this car to hit the road for an indefinite period of time. And now it is the end of December and I'm still out here on the road in the car and things are going well. Since I left my apartment, I went to New England first to shoot the fall colors. So I drove all around New Hampshire, Vermont, New York, and camped out and shot the fall colors for a few weeks, just fully living out of the car. It was really great. I met up with a lot of friends out there and shooting fall is honestly one of my favorite things to do. Also, sorry if the noise in the car is a lot. I just thought it'd be cool to do the first section while I'm driving to the next spot here. So I shot fall in New England and then I went down to the Blue Ridge Parkway. I made a video of the best clips from New England and Blue Ridge and that's on my channel as well. So you can check that out if you haven't seen it already. I realize I'm basically just promoting all the videos on my channel at this point, which is weird, but uh, there, both those videos are up on my channel. The one about leaving New York and the one about fall if you want to watch them. And then after shooting fall, I went to Louisville, Kentucky to visit my friend Blaine for a night because I was on my way to Denver, Colorado to visit my sister. So I drove from Louisville to Denver in one day, which is like a 16 hour drive roughly. So that was fun. And then I went to California because I had a project in Yosemite. And I also had a few client projects that I did in San Francisco while I was there as well. Then I went back to Colorado. Uh, whoa, everything good? <laughs> then I went back to Colorado and had Thanksgiving with my brother and sister, which was really nice. And after that, I drove out here to Utah. I've been out here in Utah for the whole month of December so far, so a little over three weeks. And it's crazy the amount of landscapes that are out here. I feel like I've just scratched the surface. There's so much to see. It's, it's kind of insane that there's that much in one state. Oh, the road's getting really bad up here. Honestly, I think I can just film the next section right here. It looked pretty cool facing this way. So let's get out and I will tell you the next thing I want to say. I think this will do. Plus look at this rock. I can sit on this rock. How nice is that? You see this rock? Look at that. Nice little rock. Actually, yes. Yeah, 
it's not that nice. It's kind of uncomfortable actually, but here we are. Okay, the second thing I wanted to talk about was that I think starting this journey at the time of year that I did, at the end of September, it was actually a good choice to start trying to live on the road at this time of year because of the holidays. So instead of it feeling like a permanent move where I'm moving out on the road forever, it kind of just feels like I'm taking really extended road trips. So travel for three to four weeks and then there's a holiday, you know, I, I traveled for all of October and then I had a couple client shoots in California at the beginning of November, but then after that was Thanksgiving. So I visited my brother and sister in Colorado and had Thanksgiving for a week, which was really, really nice. Then after that, I've been out here in Utah for three to four weeks and then I'm going to visit my family again now for Christmas. So instead of feeling like a permanent thing that I had to survive out here on my own forever, it feels like the road trips that I've done in the past for a week, but just instead of one week, it's around three to four weeks and then there's a break and then I do it again and then there's a break. So I'm kind of making it through the holidays right now and then after that, I'm gonna reassess and figure out what life is gonna look like after that. Okay, I gotta find one more location. I don't know where I'm gonna go, but onwards. <laughs> Okay, we made it to the third spot. I'm on this crazy mound out here and there's just these hills that go on forever behind me. And the texture is really crazy. It honestly feels like you're walking on the moon out here. It's wild. So anyway, this is a good spot to talk about the third thing that I wanted to say, which is just to tell you about my future plans and what I'm planning to do in 2022, because this whole living on the road experiment that I'm doing right now, it was never my intention to do this full time or forever. And so I definitely see myself sometime in 2022 getting an apartment again to base out of. My goal with moving onto the road currently was to really just have fun and embrace the randomness of life right now and just try it out. Just see what it's like to live out of my car for a few months and be able to just travel around in these landscapes. And I've had a really good time so far and I definitely plan on doing it for at least another few months, but I do think eventually I'm going to base myself out of an apartment again because I think I just do my best work when I have my own space and my own editing setup and I'll be able to make more videos and just have better content coming out more regularly. So in terms of where that apartment will be, I honestly have no idea right now. I think I'll probably end up on the West Coast somewhere, but in terms of which city that will be, I really, couldn't tell you. So hopefully I figure that out soon or relatively soon so that I can start making that happen. But that's at least my plan for sometime in 2022. Who knows really when that will be. Maybe I'll just keep doing this and love it. But currently the way I'm thinking is I'm gonna travel for a few more months living on the road and then get an apartment again. So that's really all I wanted to do with this video was just to give you an update on road life so far, where I've been, what I plan to do in the future, and really just show you one of the places that, one of the many places that I've been that has just blown my mind out here. I mean, this landscape is just crazy. It probably doesn't come across on the camera, but I'm standing on this massive mound hill thing, and it really does feel like you're just walking on the moon with this surface. It's, it's pretty crazy. So I feel like the only way that makes sense to end this video is to actually, I have the drone <laughs> right here, uh, put the drone up and show you a bit more context of where I'm standing right now because it's pretty crazy. So launch the drone. There we go. All right guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one, but before you go, check this out.